Hello and welcome to today's video. If you can't already tell, we are at 1,000 subscribers, which was the 2020 goal and we've nailed that um, in August. So really excited, really happy. Thank you so much. I'm kind of speechless, to be honest. Um, it warms my heart to think that a thousand people out there want to tune in each week and, you know, learn Python, make data useful, uh, and together grow as a community. So today's question comes from uh, the comments and it pretty much asks, hey, how do I log into a website with Python to be able to scrape that website? So it's a two-part episode. Uh, part one is now and part two will be out tomorrow. So if you're not already subscribed, make sure you do so you get that update. Uh, and let's just get down to business. Okay, down to business we go. So we've got the website, the username and the password. So let's go ahead and input those into our Jupyter Notebook. Now, if you haven't got Jupyter Notebook installed, highly recommend you use that for your Python coding, especially when you're still learning. It gives you instant feedback. For example, I've put in three variables here, URL, username and password, shift enter on that. And then I can quite easily call upon them and get them straight away without having to boot anything up. Now, in today's session, we are gonna be using Selenium. And along with that, we are going to be using the Selenium Web Driver Manager. So starters, if you haven't got Selenium installed, pip install Selenium. Um, PyPy is a really good resource uh, for understanding different packages. And Web Driver Manager just makes it really easy to use Selenium when you're partnering with the Web Driver Manager. Uh, all it means is you don't have to worry about having the right driver installed, the right uh, version number. Uh, this takes care of everything for you. So let's go ahead and write some code. So what we're going to do is we are going to... Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and from Selenium, okay, from Selenium, import the web driver. Alrighty, so import the web driver. That's what we're going to be using to uh, boot up the browser and actually control the web browser through Python. Uh, the next couple of things we are going to import, I'm going to paste in here and talk you through them because they are a few words. Let's have a look. We are going to import selenium.webdriver.com.keys. It's quite the mouthful. And this simply allows us to send keys. So whether we're typing something into a username or password, hitting the escape button, hitting the enter button, all those good things we can do from the Selenium Web Driver common keys. Uh, next thing I like to import is that Chrome Manager I spoke about. So that one is as simple as from Web Driver Manager, which we can see here, Web Driver Manager. And that is simply .chrome because we are using the Chrome browser. Uh, and we're Chrome, dri uh, Chrome Driver Manager. Cool. So what we need to do next is we actually need to go ahead and define a variable that will be used to drive our uh, Chrome browser. So in this case, it's going to be driver is equal to webdriver.chrome, Chrome Driver Manager install. So this line here would normally say something like, uh, you know, oops, Chrome Driver. And if you're on Windows, it might even say exe. Uh, but instead, it does actually say Chrome Driver Manager, open and close parentheses, dot install, open and close parentheses. And the reason it does that is it's going to go ahead and try to install the correct Chrome Driver if it's not already installed. Otherwise, it'll use one that's been cached. So I'm going to go ahead and run this and you'll see what I mean. So shift enter, shift enter. Uh, and straight away, a couple of things are happening. One, the actual browser has started up and it says here Chrome is being controlled by automated test software. But the second thing that happened was our Chrome driver manager went ahead and informed us that we have the latest version and it's using a cached version for us. If we didn't have the latest version, it would go off and download and install it automatically for us. So I love that about the Chrome driver manager, big fan of that package. Cool, so next thing we're gonna do is we have our URL, our username and our password. So it makes a lot of sense that we first of all navigate to the URL. To do that, we simply say, now we've got our driver defined here, so we can simply say driver.get, all right? And we're just gonna pass in the URL. Driver.get URL, shift enter on that. Let's have a look at our automated browser. And there we are, we've navigated to the website. First thing I've noticed is there is a pop-up. Is that gonna cause us any trouble? Maybe. So what I might do is I might navigate to the website, wait a few seconds, and then press the escape key just to get rid of that pop-up. Let's um. Let's not do it now. Let's actually get Python to do it for us. So what we need to do is we need to say driver dot get element by tag name. And the tag name here is simply body. And that's just us selecting pretty much the entire page. Okay, once we do that, shift enter, that doesn't actually do anything. Oh, I've got an error. <laughs> always get errors. Uh, get element by tag name. What have I done wrong there? Let's think about it. Ah. Oh. Silly me. That's, don't listen to me. It's find element. It's you know what? I got confused with get. It's it's a common mistake of mine. Shift enter on that. And all that's telling us is hey, 
we've found something, okay? What we're gonna do is we are going to go ahead and dot send underscore keys, open and close, and we are going to go ahead and capitalize keys dot and capitalize escape. And if we go ahead and shift enter on that, uh, another error, what have I done this time? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, there's, it's keys Adam, not keys. <laughs> shift enter on that. Uh, head back to our automated browser and it's now pressed the escape key for us and got rid of that pop-up Next thing we probably want to do is probably want to log in and I can see a nice um, big login button here Now before we go ahead and click that uh, I want to learn a little bit more about that login button How can I identify that login button and actually get Python to click it for us? So what I might do here is go ahead and right click and go to inspect That's actually going to open up our developer uh, tools here and I'm just going to one more time right click and inspect the login button and what that's done It's actually highlighted uh, In the elements in the actual source code where that button is and straight away I can see here It's got a class and that just identifies it. This class is typically used for things like JavaScript and mainly CSS But in our case we're going to say hey for the class of login link uh, We do want to go ahead and just click that so I'm going to copy and paste login link. Let's copy that uh, I'll close that off so the browser stays the same and what we're going to say is we're going to say driver dot find make sure I'm typing this correctly dot find element by class uh, and the class is actually called login link and what did I do wrong this time <laughs> find element by class name this is what happens when you try to memorize um, every function method attribute that exists in all these different packages you get it wrong a lot but I still recommend it weirdly um, copy and pasting codes fine but if you are in a position where you know your internet's dropped out you don't have stack overflow at hand it helps to kind of best you can um, learn these things especially if you are using them quite a bit so let's go ahead and try this so driver to find element by class name shift enter on that and this is a good sign so it means it has found that element uh, and what we're going to do now is we are going to say dot click open and close brackets shift enter on that and if we go back to our automated browser we can see here now it's gone ahead and click that and we now have the opportunity to type in our customer ID and our password which in our case we have two variables username and password uh, which we're going to use to input into each of those but before we do we need to learn a little bit more about those form elements so same as before right click inspect that element and we're going to have a look at uh, one more time inspect element and what we've got here is we have an input uh, which has an ID and the ID is J underscore username uh, It has a class but class just says text text form control So that's not specific enough at all So when you are selecting these elements you want to be really specific So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to find the element by ID It's called J underscore username and we'll Copy that and let's go ahead and say driver dot find element by ID Okay and we are going to look for J username, shift enter on that, good sign, it has found it. And we are going to go ahead and we are going to send keys, these keys. And the keys we're going to send is simply our username. So pop username in there. So shift enter on that. Alrighty, come back to our automated Chrome browser. And as you can see, the username that we had in a variable in Python is now um, loaded into that input field for the login box, which is really exciting. Uh, we do need to do the uh, password as well. So let's go ahead and similar to before, we can right click and we can inspect element. Uh, and what we're finding here is it's J password. So that piece of code is gonna be almost identical. Uh, main difference is obviously are uh, we gonna swap out username for password and we've got a variable called password. So we'll go ahead and we'll pop that in there, shift enter on that. And just like magic, we now have the username and the password inputted into this login box. Alrighty, so the next step is to go ahead and just we could probably send a key that hits enter But let's get really specific. Let's actually go ahead and get the selenium browser to sort of click the login button So to do that we right click and one more time we inspect that element What we've got is a button buttons got an ID. It's called login ID. You know what? That's good enough for me. Let's go ahead and try that. So um, The name of it is login button. We are just going to steal some of this code Okay, paste that in there, but rather than looking for J password We're going to use the login button and rather than send keys. We are going to use the dot click So let's go ahead and attempt that dot click shift enter on that now we get back to our um, Page and as you can see the good news is we are now logged in. Okay, so we're no longer not logged in. We're logged in <laughs> 
So that's all good and well. Uh, let's go ahead and shut down that browser. Let's go ahead and say driver.quit. Uh, quick, no, weird, I'm gonna close bracket, shift enter on that. Uh, so now that we've quit the driver, we can go ahead and package that up into a login function. Call the login function, it's gonna boot up the page, it's gonna escape the pop-up, it's gonna hit the login key, login button, it's gonna input the username, input the password, and hit the login button. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So what we'll do is we'll package this up, and all I mean by that is we're just gonna put all the code together. Okay, okay. so we'll keep going now, driver, driver, driver. And do we want to quit at the end? No, we don't. We'll leave that out for now. Alrighty, so uh, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to keep driver up here for now. Just make sure that's available beyond the function. Uh, everything else is is fundamentally part of this sort of login um, little dance that we're doing. So what we might do is we might create a function called define uh, login. And that's going to be made up of these steps here. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, we are going and pressing the escape key. I'm just not sure if that's gonna be happening too early. Or, I'm, um, you know, by design, my understanding is that the Selenium browser should actually wait for the page to completely load, which it will do, but I imagine that pop-up might come a quarter of a second or half a second after, and we might miss the opportunity to escape it, which will probably break the whole thing. So what we can do is we can say import time, um, and once we've imported time, we can say, let's see, so the page will load, uh, and once the page is fully loaded, uh, I'm just going to give it a you know random number of five seconds, um, just just for enough time because even so the page is loaded, that pop up does take a, a little bit to to come and pop up. Uh, once that's popped up, we're going to hit the escape key, and then I like to just give everything a little bit of a um, little bit of sleep between each action. That way, everything's loaded, everything's good, and if there is any bot detection, it's less likely to catch you out because you look like a human who's taking their time to click things. So. Uh, we're, we're hitting the escape key and then we're going to sleep for a second uh, and then we're going to click on the login link and you know what we're going we're going to we're going to sleep for a second um, and then we're going to type in our username and you guessed it we're probably going to sleep for a second uh, and then finally we're going to hit the password and we're going to sleep for a second and then we're going to hit the login button and we don't need to sleep anymore so shift enter on that and obviously nothing happens because all we've done is defined the function we haven't actually called the function so to call the function let's first of all clean this up a little bit more shift enter on that and we are going to go ahead and call that function so if i just go here login shift enter on that and let's have a look we've logged in we're waiting i think five seconds we're going to hit the escape key my hands are here hit the escape key yep and hit the login button good username password login Beautiful. Guess what? This is a two-part episode. Part two is coming out tomorrow. Um, we're going to go ahead and learn how to use Selenium as the browser and go through and scrape all 2,600 items on this website, which I did some pre-looking at, and it's going to be really fun. So thank you so much. If you're not a subscriber, I'd love for you to be one, but hey, no pressure. Um, a thousand other people before you have chosen to do that. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. Um, it, yeah, it blows me away that a thousand people want to sit down with me on a regular basis and just, you know, write code, make data useful um, and learn Python together. I think it's awesome. So once again, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Tune in tomorrow for the next installment of uh, Web Scraping with Selenium. Uh, and look, have a really good day.